Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. As you can see, I got my Kevin McAllister Home Alone hat on, so that can only mean one thing. I am back and doing the third part of my series here on the channel where I rank each Home Alone movie's trash from what I think would be the least painful to the most painful. So if you haven't seen parts one and two yet, I made a little playlist up on the channel so you can go check those out. Even though I'm just ranking the traps today, I do want to comment on one thing. I went and rewatched the third movie since it's been many years since I originally seen it, and I just feel like it lacks a lot of the nostalgia that the first and second movie have. I don't know if it's just because I'm used to Macaulay Culkin and the set plot from the first and second ones, and of course we get Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern as the bandits, but I just gotta say the third movie is a steep downhill from the first and second ones. Before I get into today's video, I am on the road to 100 subscribers, so if you like the content that I'm putting out here on the channel, go down below and hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get into Home Alone 3's traps from what I would think to be the least painful to the most painful. Most of the traps in Home Alone 3 are much less severe than the first and second movie, so the first trap up on my list and the one that I think would be least painful is when the band is breaking the front door and Alex is rigged the closet to be basically when it's open, he gets punched in the groin with a boxing glove. I think this would be painful, yes, but in terms of long-term damage, I don't think you'd really sustain any long-term injuries. The next on the list is a little callback to Home Alone 2. We see the bandits climb up a ladder to about the second or third story, and then Alex entices him to hurry up and jump through the window, but this is exactly what he wants as he basically put a blanket down on the floor and covering a big hole that falls all the way down to the basement. So the bandit falls about two to three stories, and I think this has much more room for growth for long-term injuries, whether you're going to be breaking the leg or other body parts, so I definitely think this would be painful. The next trapped up is when the bandits first try to enter the front of the house. Alex has a rig so if they enter the front door it basically pulls a wire which brings a tote full of books crashing through the window of the attic and onto their face. This is reminiscing on Home Alone 2 when Marv gets hit with a 100 pound bag of plaster. I definitely think this could cause some potential neck injuries or facial injuries and I think it could be seriously painful. The next trap up is when the bandits are stuck on the attic floor and have to get back to ground level. Alex makes it look like the trampoline is still set up but he really just hovers it over the pool. So they jump all the way down, crash right through the trampoline and into the ice. Depending how long they would have been sitting there for, you definitely would be getting hypothermia as well as suffering the injuries from the fall. The next one up is kind of a part two to one that I've already mentioned. After suffering a total books to the face, they get up and then they get hit with a weight to the face from the roof of the house. I definitely think this would solidify any neck or head injuries and it would definitely be painful and cause some severe long-term injuries. The second most painful trap up on my list is when the bandit is on the ladder in the garage and gets hit with a moving lawnmower tiller to the face. They obviously downplay this in the movie, but I think it'd be more towards the lethal side. You're going to be getting some severe gouges and cuts to your face and head and probably going to get some severe brain damage. So I think this is definitely more towards the lethal side of the traps that I've reviewed on the channel. And now the most painful trap at Home Alone 3, in my opinion, is when a bandit at the front and the back of the house are getting electrocuted at the same exact time. Although not as severe as what I think Marv endures at Home Alone 2, I definitely think this would be on the more lethal side of the scale of the traps that I've reviewed here on the channel, so I, that's why it is getting the number one spot in Home Alone 3. So that completes my list of traps on Home Alone 3 from what I think is least painful to most painful. There were a lot of small ones or minor ones that I chose to leave out because I don't think they're really worth mentioning. So why don't you guys go let me know down in the comments, do you agree with my list or what things would you swap or replace? So that is going to wrap up today's video guys. As usual, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. I'm on the road to 100 subscribers by the end of the year, so it would really mean a lot if you could go down below and subscribe for all future content. And of course, until I see you guys in the next video, peace out.